Uh, we are going to see how we can read existing SQLite database in Android Studio app. Most of the people uh, I have seen in, on internet, they have, they have told us how to make a database from your device, for your device, and then uh, you can uh, insert or save and do manipulation activity. But today what we will do is, uh, we will actually make a database in SQLite and then we'll do it. So we have certain, uh, you know, stuff which you need to have. First is this DB browser and uh, we'll install it and various other things are there. There is an example also. So this DB browser, let us go to internet or open your, open your browser. And then what you can do is you can just uh, type this db browser and uh, you can download it uh, from this link you can just choose a download uh, because mine is 64 bit so i am downloading it windows exe so this uh, one more thing is there are nightly build uh, versions also available like this windows 64 bit is there uh, which is the latest one see these are the list of files which are available and um, this the uh, first one is 17 October but we have 25th October also available so let us uh, try to download it and uh, once we download it we are able to make a database a SQLite database because I already have it so let me run it for you and uh, it will install and we have to wait till it install this is how you do it press next and this is installing it may take some time but uh, once it is installed you can actually make your database and then you can modify it you can update it and you can also add the data but i already have a my database.db if you can see on the background i already have a database which is there meanwhile let me open a android studio project for you because um, by the time that uh, the installation is taking place We'll open a standard project and we'll wait for this to install. And uh, but uh, there are certain things before I should tell you that once you make a database and to make it available or readable to your Android Studio or Android app, you need to do these two things. First is you have to, to we need to do create table Android metadata and that's insert into values this underscore ID. So the first uh, first uh, uh, column will be underscore id that that has to be there it, there is no other option this is how your android is going to read it so now uh, these are the options let me show you the project which is actually there and uh, i'll i'll share these files with you in inside this source inside this main we have java files we have two files first is this main activity file and then the other one is database helper file. This uh, database helper helper file will actually uh, this is actually our database helper file, and we have extended it to from SQLite open helper. And if you can closely see that the the database is stored in data data context get package name and uh, databases. This is where your database is going to be there in on your device. So this is a constructor and you have to add all these SQL exception, SQLite database, SQLite exception, SQLite open helper uh, um, to import. You have to import it. It's very, it's very essential. Uh, if you can see, we have a, a DB path. This DB path will actually be the path of your database. And uh, I've written it uh, that enter your DB name here with, without db so don't put dot db or dot sqlite this is the my database name my database this is my database this is SQLite, sqlite uh, database uh, is instance and we'll make an instance of it later on and uh, this is uh, how we make a constructor constructor as i already told you that the data data path is actually where the your device is going to find out the database now we have various functions out here like create database is there, check database is there. So these, these functions will be very helpful in making your database. You have to make a database and then you have to port it to your device. 
So this is the copy database function and below this uh, we have uh, this query and so there's there is query also but uh, what uh, exactly I want to tell you is what this you are making a SQLite database you will make it in DB browser once you make it in a DB browser you will transfer it to your asset folder you will make an asset folder in your program and then, then you will transfer it once you transfer it this is this is converted into your readable form means in asset you you, you make a database uh, my database my database dot db i will copy it in the asset folder and then it will be converted in certain format and placed into data data folder of your uh, device now this uh, installation is over i was waiting for this only so these these are the various files which we are going to use I'm just scrolling it so that you can understand that this is what we are going to use in our program and this file will be available to you because we have to make a database now so we'll make a database there is a there is a cursor also okay this is this is our main activity and inside this uh, main activity we are putting some uh, listeners on it and on this listener we will open database and uh, we will uh, actually it show you the content of the database the database how to how to make a database i have already made a database so you will be using that only but how to make a database make a new open db browser make a new database make a new database uh, i am giving the giving the path of the database uh, let it let it be for test db and how you make a table give the table name in your db browser any any name you can give my table and then you have to uh, add certain fields and fields means these are the columns which you are you, you are going to add for that you can press add field and you can now key in your names of the columns name of the columns so what columns you can have we have three uh, columns we have three columns date time and height uh, before that, as I told you that you have to make your database uh, readable or compatible with Android Studio. For that, you have to add this ID. So what we will do is underscore ID will add. This will be an integer and make it a primary key. Then what you are going to add is date, time, height. This this will be your you know anything name, address or email, whichever way you like. I'm just giving an example that how to add fields just press add field add field and make it the format you want and just press this uh, whether you want to make it a primary key or you know all those stuff are, are there I'm making one more time and height I'm giving it uh, placing it as a real uh, real uh, data type now my my database is ready my table is ready but I am not I, I did not have any data in it you can also export it into CV, CSV file and CSV file can can also be read it uh, can be read directly into your Android studio project now you have to do this thing create table just copy this line and paste it here this file will be available to you and just run this once you run it, you see there there is a Android underscore metadata has uh, is created, and this needs to be there. Then you can run this uh, another insert into values. Again, paste it and in your S execute SQL tab and run it. Now this is also created. These two things are mandatory. Means the this these two things you have to do. You have to uh, make this uh, available. Uh, to your uh, Android Studio, you can also browse data. So you see this ENUS has come just now. While we run the SQL query, we just ran it to cre one creatable and one insert into. On the background, you can see. But uh, what uh, we are going to do is we'll have uh, we I already have a same database with some database filled in it. So I am opening this database. See. 
same same thing which i told you but with the data my database.db this is also available to you you can uh, have it in my folder uh, find it in my folder and uh, this now is name is tide prad this is, this is actually a program for tide prediction that you have a date you have a time and at that time hydrological department gives you the height of the tide now uh, let me let me uh, start the activity and this is the database let me copy it for you we we need to copy first let me make a android project for you android project give the name whichever name you want because my the project name will not be a problem but in case you want to be very close to this uh, project you can give the name as uh, copy db activity or something like that phone and tablet i'll tell you where you exactly uh, have to give the exact name now this is our main activity this is main activity copy db activity so i am just copying it and pasting it because the main activity should be the activity uh, the file which i am providing you so copy db activity this uh, will be, this should be the name of your main activity and uh, once uh, we press next and finish hit next then the project uh, is building we need to wait for it because uh, android studio sometimes take uh, Uh, a longer time and once this is done you will have uh, you will just have a basic project you will not have the stuff which we wanted to do because we haven't made a data helper class we haven't done this copy uh, copying of our database so there will be uh, this will be a, our basic project we are going to do some changes to it and the changes are being shown in the text file which i'll be providing to you and also the uh, java file which i am providing you so now um, we are we having a basic project just add a new folder a new folder go to new folder and then to asset folder asset folder finish so you will have a new folder just you will have a new folder nothing else i am doing this is just a new folder then go to my database.db copy it this is just the file you have made i am just i am just uh, having a database file which you made with the data only i have data paste it it will ask for the name just delete this dot db once you delete the db this my database will come so inside your asset folder you have a my database database db right okay all these things you can see go to layout activity Uh, if you you can just uh, see that this is the formation of your project this is a basic project only the name copy db activity is there and my database i have, I have just copied go to source means uh, go to the uh, files which you have i have provided these two files will be available to you and copy db activity just open this file and you have database uh, file also so let's let us make first a java class java class java class database helper and make a make a class go open this uh, file which i'll provide i'll be providing you and uh, below package package will be yours copy the whole stuff copy just whole stuff and go to android studio and paste it in this see this is your database helper file so we have paste everything and uh, now when i when i told you that enter your database name you have to enter your database my because i am using my database uh, as the name of the database i'm i'm just uh, i just typed that in and uh, now you, you see this db path and db name all this will be taken care by the program which i am giving you so this will be db path db name and various other stuff see all those functions are there a last one is the query where you have to now here you have to give the database no you have to give the um, name of the table this will not be my database i will correct it later basically you have to give the name of the table type predict you have to give at that position now we have come to our uh, uh, copy db activity just copy this stuff and paste it in your copy db db activity which is your main activity this main activity we have copied 
all this has been copied and uh, now you see that you will find certain point red red uh, the text in red so we have to add various things to get rid of this these problems see this is um, once your database is been successfully is successfully imported from asset folder to your device this will give you successfully imported so you have a date time and height which uh, which will be shown to you in this activity copy dbxml uh, click uh, open it and press refresh you will see the android screen once this android screen is there just add a button just add a button because on this button press only we will be we will be showing you the copying uh, of uh, database because you have already made a database now you want to use it in your uh, android studio so for that just make a button and this button you can name you know something like copy database or something which which uh, way you require or which way you like you can do it now uh, some errors have gone but the name it should be button 01 because in our file activity uh, file we have named it as button 01 if you are naming it by yourself just change this button 01 to your name because we have given button 01 so we are just uh, having changing the name of the button with button 01 now let, let, let me run the program for you and before we run uh, let me open this db browser db browser and we'll show uh, uh, we'll see the database the database has content this this is the name of the table tied pred if you can see tied pred is the table inside my database.db and this contains various fields the first field is underscore id which is mandatory and i, I just ran the program on my emulator or nexus device when i press this button this program fails and can you can you tell me how and why this this has have happened because i told you that this name should be in our database self profile the name should be database but here it should be it should be the table name so i am changing it to the table name as i earlier told you i am changing it to the tied thread this this is our table and uh, again in the in the in the copy db activity we have to change the name of of our table type thread in this query we have to give so two places you have to give the name of the table one place you have to give the name of the project uh, database now just press the button and you see that all the data which was there in your database you can see that it is coming successfully so all these data one by one it is coming one two three and because it is reading from serial serial wise there are around 164 or one uh, around this number of data see there are various number of data one so they they are coming because there is a loop and uh, please um, go to this program and you will learn more closely that how this cursor we take how we run the cursor this is how the cursor is running we have taken a cursor and this cursor is running and this cursor is going to each and every record 